being a swimmer, the Olympics are really our biggest stage, and it's something as a young girl I always dreamt about. Um, you know, when I started swimming, I was six years old, and that was the time that Janet Evans in 1988 was winning all of her gold medals. Um, so that's what I watched on on television, and that's what I aspired to be. Uh, well, Sydney, I was. <laughs> 15 and not really knowing what I was doing at all. I had no clue what was going on. Uh, and then going to Athens, uh, I was a deer in headlights. You know, I, I had no idea what was really going to happen and, and what to expect. And you know, I think having going through all that is is allowed me to relax more going into, into this Olympics and you know, just go out and have fun. and I'm not in school, I'll, all I have to do is focus on swimming now. And I've really taken charge of my training regime and I've added a lot more Pilates, a lot more weights, um, more running, and um, I, I feel like I'm really focused going into this one more so than I was last time. You know, the fame comes in waves. Uh, after the last Olympics, there you know, were a couple months where it was a bit overwhelming. It was humbling, but it was a bit overwhelming, but then it disappears after a while. I love what I do. I, I'm a professional athlete. I, you know, my job is to get up every morning, go swim, go work out, stay fit. Um, I'm in California, so I'm out in the sun every day. Um, I know that I'm very, very lucky. No, I'll probably go one more. Um, but I, I will not swim past the age of 30, so that is a, that is, that is a direct quote, and I will stand by that. They're, they're tough goals, um, but I, I, I feel I can achieve them, that's why they're my goals. There's, there, there's two, two people who know them, and it, it's, it's myself and Bob, and we're, we're working together to get there, and uh, that's all. Uh, my, my mom doesn't even know what my goals are, so. I'm very excited about going to China. I haven't been there yet, but my um, parents, they went on a tour of China um, just a few months ago and they loved it. And it's such an interesting uh, place and a different place from you know anything I know and I, I'm really looking forward to seeing it. If, if you're ever in the Olympic Village, it's one of the happiest times. Everyone's, you know, it, it, it's a dream come true for everybody. And, and you know, not only for the athletes, but you know, I think um, Every, every individual country is behind their athletes and, and it's a happy time for everybody.